seconds to rest. Welcome to the next workout. This is workout number 19. Um, so the last workout in workout number 18, we did an upper body workout. Today in workout number 19, we're doing a, a lower body workout, okay? So equipment wise, um, make sure you, we don't really need any weights today, but make sure you've got some water available, a nice space, a safe space around you, uh, a chair or something to hold on to if you need it for balance. We will need a little bit of wall space, all right, available. Um, so maybe just uh, move something out of the way if you need to, get that bit of wall space and maybe put some music on in the background um, just to help with the motivation, get a good beat going. Uh, right then, and, and we possibly do a floor exercise as well. So if you're on a hard floor, you may want to get a mat ready um, or you can do it on the carpet, it's entirely up to you. Or we can do standing up exercises instead. Right then, so that's that. When we're doing the exercise, make sure you work at your own pace. Uh, we all work at different abilities. All right, so just follow me along at your pace. All right, let's get going, let's warm up. So let's march on the spot to start with. So warming up more of the lower body today. We will warm up the shoulders a little bit because we will still work them. Okay, so just marching, swinging the arms. Or you may also, if we're gonna do a, bit, a little bit of skipping. So if you've got a skipping rope, you may wanna use that or if you're outside, if you've got space to do it. If not, don't worry, we can just pretend to skip. Right, we're gonna to step to the sides. And then we're going to step forward and we're going to plant our heel on the floor, pointing our toe up to the ceiling. Just hands on your hips to start with. Okay, and then stepping backwards. Right, we're going to step to the sides again, but we're going to add in the arms now, so like a half star. So just moving the arms just a little bit, a few half stars. And then to the front, and we're going to do some bicep curls while we do that movement. So plant your heel on the floor. Good. And then stepping backwards. As we step back, we'll bring the opposite arm forward. So it's what we call a spotty dog. And then we're going to carry on stepping back. We're going to bring both arms forward. Like a therapy, but we're not going to jump. Right, just a little march on the spot. We'll just do a few circles, just loosen up the shoulders. And the other way. Right, just standing still. Hands up, we're gonna to twist to the side, back to the start, and then to the other side. Just gentle twists. Keep those hips facing forwards. Okay, we're going to do some knee raises now. So bring the knees up to the front. That's it. Opposite hand to opposite leg. And then a few kickbacks. Flip the heels up behind. Get those arms moving as well. Bicep curls with the arms. Right, we're going to do a little jog on the spot if you can. If that's too hard for you, just tap your feet out in front. So I'm just getting the heart rate up a little bit. So mainly today, lower body exercises will be a core exercise in there as well. You can probably guess which one that will probably be. <laughs> but yeah, mainly lower body. So tough, big muscle groups. Be a good workout though, keep, keep it with me. Okay, right, we're gonna do a few more half stars or star jumps. We're gonna go a bit quicker now. Okay, we're just gonna stop there. We're just gonna do a few squats. If you're new to squats, do it over a chair. Sit to stand. If not, you can put your hands out in front. We've done this before. Make sure you keep your heels on the floor looking forwards. Just little squats. Don't have to go too low. Warming up those legs a little bit more. And we'll do one more. Okay, back to the march. Just bringing the knees a bit higher. All 
okay, right, we're just gonna do a calf stretch. So we're gonna take a step forward, keep that back heel down. Put a stretch on the back of your lower leg. We are gonna be working this calf muscle today. So just stretching it off before we start. And change legs. That's it, plant that back heel down. Ease it down into the floor. Right, just a few burpees. So stepping back for two, and then we stretch up on the third, or jump up if you can. Right, just a few more kickbacks. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker with them. If you can, you can add a hop. You can move the arms as well, bicep curls or pull backs with the arms. Heart rate should be coming up now. Those legs are getting a lot warmer. Okay, let's do a hamstring stretch. So front leg straight, place your hands on the bent leg. Let's sit back into the stretch. Hold it. Well done. Perfect. Okay, let's change legs. Oh, that's it. Let's stretch those legs off before we get going. Right, last little jog on the spot. Let's get that heart rate up one more time. Right then. Okay, I think we're feeling, feeling all nice and warm. Okay, let's get going. Right, so today's workout, like I said, is a lower body workout. We are doing 14 exercises in total. We are doing 50 seconds on each one, but we will have a little 10 second rest in between each one and I'll quickly explain what the next one will be. So 14 exercises, 50 seconds on each one. Right, so the first one is gonna be knee raises, opposite hand to opposite leg. All right, so 50 seconds, getting ready, have a quick drink if you need it. We're gonna go, right, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so knee raises, opposite hand to opposite leg, we're up to the elbow, if you can go higher, we can add a hop, or if that's all too much for you, just bring it down to hold it onto the wall. Bring your knees up. You can all do this at your own level. This is a pulse raiser, but working those leg muscles. That's it, get a good rhythm going. Get a twist in the core. Bring those elbows in. So we're doing 50 seconds. That's it. 10 seconds to go. We're not doing much with the arms today. We did them in the last workout. Right, next one. We got a 10 second rest. The next one is going to be squats. Okay, so just rest up. Right, let's get in a wide stance, looking forward. Lower the body down, keeping your back straight. If you're new to this, use a chair. Sit to stand. Always look forward when you do the squats. Squeezing up, squeeze your glute muscles as you come up. Feeling those big muscle groups working, front of your thighs as well. So if your heart rate starts going up when we're doing these strength exercises, that's because we're using big muscle groups. Lots of oxygen needed. Body's working hard. Right, we've only got 10 seconds to go. One more. Right, just shake off your legs. So you've got 10 seconds to go, 10 seconds rest. Next one is gonna be skipping. So if you've got a skipping rope, you can use your skipping rope. If not, let's pretend. Okay, so let's skip. So we're jumping up and down if you can. If that's too hard, you can hold onto a wall and just tap our feet out in front. Always do the level that's suitable for you. Challenge yourself, but to your abilities and any medical conditions. If you've got any problems with your knees, you don't want to be jumping around too much. That's it. Nice high jumps if you can. You do one foot, and the other. So we've got another pulse raiser, this one is. And then we've got a strength one after this. Five seconds. 
Excellent. Right, next one is an outer thigh. So beginner's way would be one leg and then the other. If you've done this before, you can do the same leg with me and then I'll tell you to change. Okay, so off we go. Control that movement. If you want to make it harder again, you can lie on the floor, bring the leg up and down. Control that movement. So on the floor, slightly harder because we're against gravity, but against the wall's good as well. Still hard. Right, let's change legs. If you haven't already, or you can remember, you can do alternating legs. So in a good outer thigh exercise. That's it. Keep with me. Three, two, one. Okay, just working those outer thighs. You've got 10 seconds rest. Next one is your burpees. All right, I had to put burpees in. It is a bit of a lower body exercise as well as an upper body. Right, it's an all rounder. So we're stepping back one, two, and then we're stretching up or jumping on the third. If you can do the floor ones, do the floor ones. Always work up a sweat. You can do the in between burpees as well, stepping back. And then you can do a few standing up ones. And then you can go back down onto the floor. When anything becomes easier, always think about doing trying the next level. Right, five seconds to go. Oh, excellent. Right, next one is calf raises. So we've got five seconds rest. And then we're going to go with the calf raises. Right, so holding onto the wall, we're going to push up on our toes and back down. Squeezing up on your toes, lower down slowly. If you want to make it harder, you can put one foot behind the other and then go up and down. You can do, say, five or ten with one leg and then you can change. The wall's there for support, it allows you to go up that little bit higher. So you're not necessarily pushing onto it, it's just it's there for support. For a little bit of muscle group, this one, but support we work it. Right, five seconds to go. Right, so we've got ten seconds rest. Right, the next one is a step back. And then we're going to do a knee raise. Okay, so we're pumping the knee in. All right, so off we go. If you're finding that hard with balance, you can just hold on. Hold on to something to help you do it and then change legs. Okay, whichever way, do about 10 with one leg and then change. You can work the arms as well if you're not holding on. It's a good pulse raiser, this one. Working on your balance as well. Nice big step back. You don't have to lunge into it, just step back. Good. Right, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Right, next one is going to be lunges. So when we do a lunge, we take a step and we bend that back knee down towards the floor. Of course, it's up, puffing away, yeah? Right, down we go. Again, make sure you keep your back nice and straight. If you can't bring your knee all the way down to the floor, just go the other way. Keep that back straight. If you want to make it harder, you can hold on to some weights. You can keep changing legs as well, or you can do the same leg for 10 and then change. You step back into it or forwards, whichever way, just don't let your knee go over your toe. Keep with it. Three, two, one. Feel those 
leg muscles working now. Right, 10 seconds rest. Got a pulse raiser after this one, which is going to be jogging on the spot. Or if you've got room and you're outside, go for a little jog or a walk. Or you've got space in your lounge, you can jog around. So a pulse raiser. Let's get those legs moving, get those knees moving. Get the heart rate up. There. And we can put some music on, help with the motivation. Keep going. Right, we've got just 10 seconds to go, just over 10 seconds. So a little bit quicker. Let's swing those arms. You're going to love the next one. <laughs> You're not going <laughs> to. Okay, right, the next one is a plank. All right, so a plank can be against the wall with your arms straight and you can hold or on the floor on your elbows. Okay, so get into your position. If you're new to this, watch the technique on the floor. Elbows are underneath your shoulders and we can be on our knees. Is the easier version or the harder version would be to push up and straighten your legs, push your heels away from you. Okay, so keep going. Should be in that plank now. If you're new and that's too hard on the floor, do it against the wall and hold or in the, on an incline. Whichever way, engage those core muscles, hold them tight. Right, you've got 10 seconds to go. Keep with it. Three, two, one. Okay, so that was the core exercise one. 10 seconds rest. The next one is going to be mountain climbers. Right, so a mountain climber is holding onto the wall. We're going to pump the knees in towards the chest, okay? So off we go. You can do it on the floor as well. The more advanced version would be hands underneath your shoulders, pump your knees in. Okay, so you pick which way for you. Always work at your own level. Try and keep pushing yourself. Feel better for the, at the end of the workout. Keep going. You can twist as well, twist the knees, make it harder. Right, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Right, next one is going to be inner thighs. So if we're against the wall, bring the leg in front of you. And we can do the same leg, and then I'll change you, tell you when to change. Or well, you can do it on the floor. And bring the leg up. So put one leg over the top, line your side, and then lift that leg up and down. Okay, so we'll keep going. I'll tell you when to change legs. Okay, changing sides. So you can feel the inner thigh working. It's always good to do the opposite muscles. So we've done outer thigh earlier, now we're doing the inner thigh. Right, just five seconds to go. Right, this is exercise number 13, so we've only got two more to go. Keep with me. Okay, the next one is a pulse raiser. It's going to be side jumps or side steps. So the easier version, step to the side or a hop or a jump. Okay, so off we go. Whichever version for you. Okay, so you can step over. Imagine there's something in the middle. So don't just slide across. Okay, try and step over it. Jump over it. It. Try the, the in between version. So, working the outer thighs as well as raising the heart rate. So, I only need one more to go after this, and then we'll have a drinks break. Okay, keep with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Right, last one, 
number 14 is a wall squat okay so it's where you need your wall space back against the wall looking forwards and we're going to go down nice and low we're going to try and go to 90 degrees with the, the knee joint there keep your back against the wall and we're going to try and hold this for the whole 50 seconds if we can it's going to burn because this is the last one of the 14 nice one just to finish this round keep pushing that back against the wall if you're really hurting it's too much stand off stand up shake your legs off get back into that position feel your your quads working there the muscles on top of your thigh you've only got 10 to go you can do it now five four three two one Whew. Right, shake off your legs. We're gonna have a have a rest. So just have a drink. Try and keep your feet moving though. Try not to just sit down. Have some water. Get some air. Open up a window if you need to. Right. So have a little bit more rest. I'll just explain what's gonna happen now. So Round two, we're going to go through them again. We're going to do, yeah, we'll go, I think we'll go through them in the reverse order this time, just to change it up a little bit. So we're going to start by working those thighs and doing the, the wall squat. And then we're going to work back through all 14 exercises. But we are going to do less time on each one. We're going to do 40 seconds this time rather than the 50 second. And we're still going to have that 10 seconds rest in between. All right, so last drink. Ready to go? I'm ready. Let's get going. Right, so 40 seconds. Let's get by the wall. 40 seconds on the timer. Let's do our wall squat to start with. So back against the wall. Lower it down. Okay, so we're back into that position. You can do it. This is quite mean, but at least we're getting it out of the way. Right, so we've only got 20 seconds to go. Keep holding it there, push it back against the wall. Just look forwards. Right, you've only got 10 to go now. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, well done. Right then, next one is going to be side steps or side jumps. Ready? Go. So step into the side or jumps. Brilliant. Pushing through it. Feel much better at the end of the workout when you've done it all, completed it. Give yourself a pat on the back when you've done it. Going. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest up. Next one will be inner thigh, which will be across your body, and then the other leg. Or you can do it on the floor. Okay, off we go. Show you the floor version. Make sure you've got your leg over, lean over onto your side, bring the leg up from the floor, up as high as you can and lower it down. Just feel those little pulses. Right, change that leg if you haven't already. If it's too much for you, you can just alternate between the legs. Right, 10 seconds to go. One. Okay, we've done that one. Right, next one will be the mountain climbers. So we can do it against the wall. Pump those knees in. Or on an incline. Okay, off you go. Let's work hard. This is the pulse raiser. If you want to work your core a little bit more, get a twist. 
Putting the knee to the opposite arm. Right, you're over halfway. We're at those legs. Let's go. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest for 10 seconds. Next one is the plank. So we're going to get on the floor on our elbows. If you're able to get on the floor, if not, you're going to do it on the wall. Okay, hold that position. Get into it, hold. Engage all your core muscles. Think about all the muscles down your body. Are you holding them tight? Make sure your hips aren't up. Or too low, should be down here. Okay, keep them nice and straight, keep your back straight. Right, you've only got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Have a rest. 10 seconds rest. Right, the next one's going to be a walk or a jog around or on the, on the spot. So if you've got space, you can move around. If not, keep with me, just jogging on the spot. Now swing those arms. Up those feet. Keep going. We're halfway. Nearly there. A little bit quicker. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, next one, 10 seconds rest to show you is lunges. So bring in that knee down towards the floor. Ready? Off you go. If you are new to this, make sure you're holding on to the wall. Up and down slowly. Make sure your back foot is facing forwards, not out to the side. Let's work those leg muscles. Tough. Okay, you can change sides. Right, you've only got just over 10 seconds to go. Let's get a few more in. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, that's lunges done. Right, the next one will be step back into a knee raise. Ready? Let's go. So if you're finding it hard with your balance, hold on to the wall. And just hold on. Or if you could hear it, hold on to a kitchen worktop. Bang your, bang your knee onto it there. Right, change that leg if you haven't already. That's it, you can do it. Keep going. Right, 10 seconds to go. Think of all the benefits you're getting in your body, mentally, physically. Three, two, one. Excellent. Right, next one, calf raises. Right, so we can hold onto the wall. Up onto your toes and down. You want to make it harder, one foot behind the other. Or you can hold on to weights while you do this exercise. Squeeze it up. You can put your hands on the wall and then you can push, go up the wall as well. So as you go up, move your hands up the wall. Excellent. Calf raise is done. Right, the next one is the burpee, so pulse raiser, whole body. Hard work, off we go. Two steps back, then jump or stretch. Your pace. Whichever pace that is, 
You keep going. You keep moving. Right, just 20 seconds to go. Four more exercises after this one. So you can do a few floor ones if you can. Five seconds. Excellent. Whew. Right, next one will be outer thigh. Off we go. So we're going out to the side. We're on the floor, lying down. We'll do one leg for 20 seconds and then we'll change. Oh, they're tough, those burpees, aren't they? Right, five seconds to go. Sorry, five seconds to go. Change legs. <laughs> five seconds on that leg. Right, keep it going. You feel that bottom leg is standing on as well, working. Right, outer thigh done. 10 seconds rest. Next one will be skipping. So if you like to do it with skipping rope, grab your skipping rope. If not, let's go. Let's skip. If it's too much on your knees, it's hurting, just tap your feet out. There's always ways we can do it in a different way. That's it. And if there's anything you're not sure on on any of these videos, it's quite hard to do it. You can always contact me as well. I'm happy to help. Right, 10 seconds to go. A little bit higher. We've got two more to go after this one. Okay. Right, two more. So the next one is squats. So we're going down nice and deep. Keeping your back straight. Off you go. Make sure you sit back into it so you don't want the knees going forward like this. Okay, we want to sit back into it. There's a chair, if there's a chair there, practice with the chair. So you're like you're gonna sit on the chair. Trusting that you can go back onto your heels. So you're pushing the weight into your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. Look forwards. Right, a few more. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, right, last one. 10, ten seconds reps first will be knee raises. Okay. Ready? Go. So, opposite hand to opposite leg. Done. Nice and high. Keep it going. Right, you're over halfway. Ten seconds. You have a drink after this. Keep with me. Five, four. Three, two, one. Okay, have a rest. Add some water. We sure got some air coming in. Right. So, we've done two rounds. I'm hoping you're going to stick with me and you're going to do the final third round. It's going to be a quick one. It's only going to be 30 seconds on each one, so we're going to go much quicker. Okay, so have one more last drink. Right, so round three, 30 seconds on each one. Let's really just finish off, work those legs, and if they feel tomorrow that they feel a little bit achy, that's a good sign. That means your muscles are, you're building up those muscles, making them stronger which is what, what we want. All right, so 30 seconds. We'll still have the 10 seconds rest in between each one. We're going to start with the knee raises working back that way. Right, so round, uh, exercise number one, 30 seconds. 
into the knee raises. That's it. Well done for sticking with me. That's it. Let's finish the video. So it's only 30 seconds. Let's really get that heart rate up a little bit higher if you can. Right, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so rest up. Next one is squats. Get into your position. Wide stance. Right, off we go. Back straight. Deep, if you can for you. Look forward, don't look down. Right, only 10 seconds to go. Squeeze up. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Right, next one will be skipping. Are you ready? Let's skip. So if you're finding it too much to skip in, just tap your feet out. There's no reason you have to stop the workout if you're finding it hard. You can just do, take it down a level. But if you can, we are doing all these videos, you can do it. Nice skip, nice jump. Five seconds. Right, 10 seconds rest. The next one will be outer thigh. All right, so we'll do half the time with one leg and then we'll change legs. Right, off we go. So 15 seconds on each leg. Unless you're new to this, do opposite. Do one leg and then change, alternate. Okay, change legs. You don't have to go fast, control the down. Don't just drop the leg. Right, you've done it. Right, next one will be burpees. Okay, so it's only 30 seconds. I'll get them done. Right, ready? Go. So burpees. That's it. Pushing yourself. Fifteen seconds. Over halfway. A few floor ones if you can. Five seconds, one more. Good job. Heart rate is up now. Resting. Cat raises to the next one. Right, so hold on to the wall. Up onto your toes. Squeeze all the way up high. And lower down slowly. Right, 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, calf raises are done. Rest for 10. Next one will be step backs with the knee raise. Ready? Go. So pumping that knee forward. Find it harder, balance, hold up. Okay, change legs when you're ready. Right, only 10 to go. A bit quicker. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, next one is lunges. So we can hold onto the wall. 10 seconds rest. Okay, 30 seconds lunges. Bring that knee down, push back up. Do the same leg for a few and then we can change. Just make sure that you're not leaning too much forward. Keep your back straight. Nice wide stance. Don't want your feet too close together. 
Why? Right, lunge is done. Give those legs a shake. Getting towards the end now. Keep with me. Right, the next one's going to be a jog on the spot. Off we go. It's tough today. Like I said, big muscle groups in the legs. Demand a lot of oxygen, so makes the body having to work harder, gets that heart rate up. Right, keep with me. 10 seconds, a little bit quicker. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, right, next one's going to be the plank. So if you start to get in your plank position against the wall or on the floor, make sure your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Okay, hold it tight. It's only 30 seconds. You can do it. Push those heels away. Engage all those core muscles. Right, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Right, that's plank done. Next one is the mountain climbers. So 30 seconds, let's pump those knees in. Keep going. Do it at your level. If you're struggling, just keep moving. Slow it down a little bit. Right, 10 seconds. Quicker if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Mountain climb is done. Three to go. Only three to go. Right, next one. Inner thigh. So, leg in front of your body. Squeezing the cross in front. Stand tall. Change legs. Right, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Two to go. Two more, that's it. Next one will be the side steps or the jumps. Okay, off we go. Your pace. But the pace that gets your heart rate up. Go in. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I know you're feeling those legs because I can feel mine too. Right, one more to go. Let's sit against that wall. Last one. Wall squat. Get in your position. Wide, wide stance. Move your feet away from the wall, making sure that your knees are not over the top of your toes, they should be in line or behind. Hold it as low as you can against the wall. You should be feeling your thighs burning. You can do it. Do the whole time. Go on. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you've done it. Give yourself a clap, give yourself a pat on the back. Have some water. That time is all done. Three rounds, all finished. Keep your feet moving before we, we go into a cool down. Don't rest those legs yet, don't sit down. We need to stretch them off and then you can carry on for the rest of your day. Right then, so keeping those feet moving. Okay, we'll just do, we didn't really work the, the upper body too much, but we will just do a shoulder stretch because we did work the shoulders a little bit on the plank and the, and the mountain climbers. So bring your arm across your body, 
I want you to just keep your feet moving there or just walking around while you're doing this shoulder stretch. And change arms. Bring the other arm across. Good. Right, we'll just do a little back stretch. So we're just going to gently lean to one side. And then change. Change again. So it is important that we stretch off at the end. Lengthen those muscles off. One more time. You can put your hand across your head as well. Maybe you're already doing that. Okay. Right, let's just uh, do a few gentle knee raises. And some side steps. Straight those arms. And behind. And forwards. Just getting that heart rate just to come down just a little bit more before we stop and stretch. Okay, right, let's go into a calf stretch. So we're going to take a step forward, make sure that back heel's down, lean forward into the stretch. After we've done these stretches here, remember you can do some more floor stretches for your back, and your glute muscles. It's hard to do them standing up, so there are the other videos you can have a look at. Okay, change legs. Hold. So we're going to do the general stretches here, standing up, lean into it, definitely work that calf muscle, feel that. Right, let's stretch the hamstrings, so that's the muscle here in the back of your thigh. So front leg straight, sit back into the stretch. If you're flexible, you may just want to bring your hand down and, and onto your toe, put your hand down onto your toe. Hold. Right, changing sides. So you do the other leg. Make sure your feet aren't too far apart when you do this stretch. You don't want kind of this kind of movement. You want them to be pretty close together. Sit into it. Hold. Right, we're going to stretch your inner thighs now. So we're going to do a wide stance, and then we're going to turn the foot out from the side. And then that knee follows the toe. Now as we do that, we feel the stretch in the inner thigh. If you can't feel it, you need to go a bit wider. And then over to the other side. Leaning over. Nearly there. Okay, right, just bring your feet in. Let's stretch the front of your thigh. So we've worked that muscle there, your quadricep muscle, so you're going to bring the leg up behind, knees close together. If you're struggling, put a tea towel or something around your foot or a band, and then you can pull the foot up. Hold it. Right, gently lower that down and give that leg a shake. Change sides. Let's do the other side. Oh, nice, nice to stretch it off. Hold. Right, gently lower that down the chest. So remember, if you want to do any more stretches, go over to the back stretching, the floor, the cool down workout. It's only a short one. You may want to do some of those floor exercises to stretch off. We'll just do one more for the upper body. We're just going to bring our hands around. Nice big stretch away from you. Put your head slightly down. Excellent. You've done it. Should be pleased with yourself. Well done. Good job. That was hard today. That was a hard leg workout. All done. Okay, you can always revisit this video if you want to do just more of a leg workout again. Uh, but generally, they're going to be upper body and lower body together. All right. So if you've done this one today and you missed out the arm workout, you may want to go and do that maybe tomorrow or the next day. All right. So keep up the good work and I will see you again in the next video. Well done. Pleased to see you. Take care. Bye.